Hello, hello, hello. I want to speak to you today about the person of the Holy Spirit. The person of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit more. Because the Holy Spirit, he is always overlooked in churches and in our lives as believers. He is always overlooked. And you see, the best way we can understand or know about the Holy Spirit is knowing that the Holy Spirit is a person. He is a person. He is not a force out there that you can use anytime. He is not an it. He is a person. He is the Spirit of the living God. Today, a lot of people seek after his power, but not after his relationship. We seek after his presence, but not after the relationship with the Holy Spirit. The relationship with the Holy Spirit is key, is key. This is where people go astray and seek after some mysterious power out there because they want to get hold of some power that they can use. People go astray and be careful out there. Not every manifestation you see, not everything you see out there is from the Holy Spirit. Not everything you see out there. So be careful out there. Not everything from the Holy Spirit. Not every manifestation from the Holy Spirit. Be careful out there. Be careful out there. And someone may ask, okay, how can I get this relationship with the Holy Spirit? It is through the Word of God. You know, yes, we are all busy, but take time, take time at least read um, three, four verses a day. Just get to know who is this God you are serving every day. Get to know who is Jesus. Get to know who is the Holy Spirit. And the only way you can get to know it is through the word of God. It is through the word of God. God can hear your prayer. If God can hear my prayer, this global woman from Maryland County, from Harper, Maryland County, Liberia, if God can hear this global woman prayer, then why you think God cannot hear your prayer? God can hear your prayer. But God is looking for a relationship. Spend time in his world. I spend time in his world every day because I want to get to know who is this God I'm serving, who is Jesus, and who is this Holy Spirit. And when you get to know who is this Holy Spirit, have a relationship with him, you just want to worship him every day. You just want to worship the Holy Spirit every day. And every time I worship him, I just receive his presence hallelujah and i want to share a testimony with you so you know a rise ministry god is doing so much for this ministry and i bless god for that i bless his name so um a pastor from grand crew contacted uh, the arise ministry because, you know, he and his wife, they were believing in God. They were believing in God for a, for a child. And so they contacted a rice ministry. And it was last year in, in May. And they were able to, you know, get hold of me. And so we spoke on the phone. He's in Grand Crew, and I'm sitting here in the United States. I'm sitting right there at my kitchen table. And I was studying at that time when he called, you know, in the word of God. So we spoke. And he told me that he and his wife, they have been 
married, you know, like since 2019. And they have been believing in God for a child. And the, the first pregnancy was in 2020. And, you know, the wife had a miscarriage. And 2021, the second pregnancy, the wife had a miscarriage. And they have been believing in God and they contacted a rice. So we talk. And we talk. And you know, if you have a relationship with, 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 with God and what the word of God say, you stand on the word of God because it is through the word of God, God will act upon your word. And I spoke to the pastor and his wife, you know, talked to them and they told me, you know, all the, you know, what they have been going through. So. I had to get in, in into a prayer of agreement. That is a powerful prayer. But not everybody you can get, you know, into prayer of agreement with. You have to be careful. So I got into prayer of agreement with them. So when we were talking, so and, and then I asked them this question. Because I know I am before the presence of God in prayer of agreement. So the wife and the husband they have to agree and you know and then i join and then i join with them hallelujah so i asked them i said how many children do you want and the wife said two one boy one girl the husband said four two boys two girls i said no 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 i'm on the phone just go discuss it among yourself and get into one agreement what I'm waiting on this phone and let me know what, you know, what was the outcome. So they got together and they talked and they came back. I was on the phone. This is a phone call. And they said, well, two boys, two girls. I said, okay. So we got into prayer of agreement and I pray for them. I pray for them. Very short prayer. But at the end of the prayer, this is where I got to know it was the Holy Spirit that spoke through me. Because I myself, a global woman from Harper, Maryland County, cannot give anybody a child except the Holy Spirit. So I knew at that moment, he, he spoke through me. And when I ended, before I could end the prayer, then I told them, by this time next year, you will have your baby. And I said, Amen. And they too, Amen. And right after the prayer, then I realized, I said, Oh, Holy Spirit, you said that to them. You put those words in my mouth. You said it to them. But I bless you and I honor you. I worship you for you filling them with laughter. And, you know, and, and that was it. Then in, in November, last year, November, they called me. When they called me, they said, first when they called me, they were just laughing, you know, the lady just, oh, happy. And then I said, what's going on? And the man said, well, my wife conceived and she is three months pregnant. So that was in November. So when I counted November, and then I knew, okay, then that's May. That's the same time, you know, a rise ministry, pray for them. That's the same time that was in May. And I said, okay. So now uh, um, this May, the beginning of May, the first week in May, then I got the call. I got the call that the lady had delivered and she had a bouncing baby boy. This is the baby. Oh, he's so sweet. Hallelujah. A bouncing baby boy. And you see, the exact time that I spoke to them, that, that's the exact time they had a baby. 
Her prompt is the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. Not this global woman from Maryland County, Liberia. Not her. Not her. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. I call him Jesus Christ. Unlimited. Unlimited. I was sitting in my kitchen. They were in some somewhere in Grand Cru. But you see, with God, there is no limitation. So I bless God for, for this child. And he's so cute. Hallelujah. I bless the Holy Spirit. Okay, now I'm going into the message. So before I go into the message, I just want to say this short prayer. And I want to pray for someone out there. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your name. I give you glory. I give you honor. Thank you for today. Thank you for your presence. And thank you, O oh Lord. And I pray for someone out there, Father. Touch them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless them. Open their heart, O oh Lord, that this message will be received, O oh Lord. And I pray that somebody who is hearing this message will build a relationship with the Holy Spirit and get to experience the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. And by the way, I, I will bring them on the, on the show. I will bring them on this platform for them to give their testimony maybe next week so you can hear their story. So I bless the Holy Spirit. Uh, and that's him. You see how the Holy Spirit is powerful. You see how he is great. There is nothing God cannot do for his children. There is nothing God cannot do for his children. He wants to help his children, but we just ain't know the Holy Spirit. We ain't know him. I'm going to talk more about the Holy Spirit because I want you to get to know him. I want you to, to get to experience his power. Hallelujah. So who is this person of the Holy Spirit? First of all, before I, I talk more about him, let me explain about the Trinity. Because if you get to know about the Trinity, you will get to know who is the Holy Spirit. You see, God the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. You see, God is one in being and three in persons. One in being and three in persons. We don't have three gods. No, 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 no. We have only one God. God says, yeah, O Israel, your Lord, your God is one. God is one, one God. One God, one God, one in being and three in person. You know, God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, they are all seen in essence. They are all powerful. They were all there from the beginning. God is, is, is the creator. Jesus Christ had his role. He is our redeemer. And the Holy Spirit had his role. He is here to point all us to Jesus. So they are, you know, God is one. One in being and three in person. And each person has their role to play but you see no one is greater than the other there is no competition in the godhead there is no competition we see from the beginning we saw the, the spirit of god hovering on the face of the earth we saw the holy spirit god said let us make men in our image and likeness who the us who is the hour and everything was created through jesus so they were all there at the beginning. They were all there at the beginning. But God had a plan. You see, God had to create mankind. And God knew that mankind was going to fall. So God had to get a plan, had to redeem us. He had to get a plan. Because man was going to sin. Man was going to fall. So God had a plan to redeem us. He had a plan to redeem us. So only Jesus, only Jesus became man. 
Jesus became man and came into the, into this world in in a human form. He alone became human. He alone became man. He took the likeness of man. He became man and came on this earth. Only Jesus. Only Jesus came in human form. Why? Because his role was to redeem us. God created us. Jesus Christ is our redeemer. And the Holy Spirit points out or points us to Jesus and he changes our, our hearts and he is here. You see, Jesus Christ came and he left. I will speak about that. And the Holy Spirit is here. So get to know God is one in being and three in person. But each person has their role in creation. Each person has their role. Hallelujah. So Jesus Christ came. He died for us. He shared his blood and he's gone. He's seated at the right hand of God the Father. But before Jesus Christ could leave, he told his disciples that he was going to send another helper. So the Holy Spirit came. But that doesn't mean the Holy Spirit is the least of the, the God or of the Trinity. No, no. He is the Spirit of God. Do you know who is on this earth? The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God himself is here on this earth. He is so powerful. There is no competition in the Godhead. You can pray to God. You can pray to Jesus. You can pray to the Holy Spirit. You can worship God. You can worship Jesus. And you can worship the Holy Spirit. Believe, Christian, believe that Jesus Christ is God. This is the heart of the gospel. This is the heart of the gospel. Believe that Jesus Christ is God, that he went on the cross and he died. He is alive. Believe it. This is the heart of the gospel. Not a lot of people out there believe in his resurrection. No, because if they believe in his resurrection, then they believe that Jesus Christ is alive. They don't want to believe that. There is no grave for Jesus. There is no grave for him. There is no grave. I mean, he's God. He's God. He took on the, the, the human flesh. He, he became man, but he was still God. He was still 100% God and 100% man. He was still God. He came to experience what we were going through. He came to bear our pain. He came for everything. He said, by his stripes, we are healed. How will we get healing if Jesus Christ did not come? Hallelujah. So you got to know the Trinity to understand about the Holy Spirit. God did not create this world and just leave mankind to just fall into sin and just leave them like that. No, he had a plan before the foundation of this world. The Bible tells us in Revelation, Jesus Christ was slain before the foundation of this world. So God had his plan to redeem mankind before the foundation of this world. So God had his role to play. Jesus Christ has his role to play. And the Holy Spirit, he is here. He is our best friend. Get to know him. Get that relationship with him. Hallelujah. And then um, when we say that the Holy Spirit is a person, we are talking about his, his personality and we are talking about his character. We are not talking about him or being here. We are talking about, about the marks of a genuine person, his personality and his character. I'm not talking here about ears, eyes, nose. No, no, no. I'm talking about his personalities and his character. So I want to talk about his attributes as a person, his activities as a person, and things that we can do to him, things that we can do to the Holy Spirit. 
So just to remind you, I faced a video um, several months ago. It's on the Facebook page. I talk about the attributes of the Holy Spirit and I give the scriptures and everything. I talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I talk about a lot of things about the Holy Spirit. I just want to encourage you to go on the page and watch those videos because I had the scriptures and everything there. But today I just want to go over again about his 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 uh, um character and his his personality as as a as a, 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 a person. I want to go over it. So he he, he has an attribute of a person because why? He has a heart. He has a heart that feeds. He has a heart that feeds. He has a mind that thinks. He has a will that acts. He also has all the activities of, the, of a person. So we're going to go over all the activities of a person. He speaks. Do you know the Holy Spirit speaks? Yes, he speaks. But you have to, you have to be quiet, you know, to hear him. I mean, people, people have heard him, you know, like speak, like how someone's speaking to you. But for me, I heard him, you know, that still small voice. I heard him and also I hear him. He can speak to me, but differently that like he speaks. And I will hear it and those things will just de deposit on my heart. Then I will just say it and write it down. You know, he speaks different way, but he speaks how wonderful it is to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. He speaks. That's the relationship I'm talking about. If you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, <laughs> he, he can speak to you. He speaks, hallelujah. And he, he searches, he cries out, he prays, he forbids, he appoints. He appoints you for your calling. He appoints, hallelujah. You don't appoint yourself. The Holy Spirit appoints you for your calling. You don't appoint yourself. If you are there and appoint yourself, you go back on your knees and ask the Lord, what is your calling? Because a lot of people out there confused about the, the calling. I had to go to the Lord. I had to go to him and ask him. When I first had an encounter with him, I didn't know my calling. I had to go to him and ask him before he told me. This When he told me, it was the audible voice. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You see, he said the audible voice. I heard it, and I wasn't sleeping. You know, like getting out of bed. I got up, getting out of bed, and I just heard this audible voice, and it just deposited on my heart, and I heard it, and I wrote it down. That's how he, that's how he, he called me, and he called me to evangelize. And I, I love evangelism. I love to tell people about Jesus. Hallelujah. He testifies. He teaches. It takes the Holy Spirit to help me, you know, what I'm doing here. Without the Holy Spirit, I cannot do it. I cannot. No way. No way. I cannot do it without the Holy Spirit. Because it was my challenge from the beginning to come out. And talk about Jesus. It, it, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. So my calling was in 1990, and I didn't respond to that calling until in 2019. Why? Because I couldn't. I couldn't. But look, look, look at me now. It takes the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He guides, he leads, he calls. Hallelujah. And there are things we can do to him also. There are things we can do to the Holy Spirit. We can make him unhappy. We can grieve him. We can lie to him. And we can insult him. 
check the videos on Facebook. I give the scriptures of everything. Hallelujah. So now I am going to talk about the Holy Spirit, the very person of God, fully divine. I'm going to talk to you how fully divine he is. Hallelujah. So he is internal. The Holy Spirit is internal. God is internal. The Holy Spirit is internal. Jesus Christ is internal. You see, the scriptures is there. He is omnipresence. He is everywhere. God is everywhere. Jesus is everywhere. Now, and then the Holy Spirit, he is everywhere. He is omniscience. He knows all. He is omnipotent. He is all powerful. He is all powerful. God is all powerful. Jesus is all powerful. The Holy Spirit is all powerful. You see, he is all powerful. Hallelujah. He, and he knows everything. What a past, what a present future. The Holy Spirit, he knows everything. He is all powerful, all powerful. Hallelujah. He is the creator. Jesus Christ is your creator. The Holy Spirit is your creator also. He was there from the beginning. He created us. That breath that is in you, it was through the Holy Spirit. He is our creator. So think about how important the Holy Spirit is. Think about how, how mighty he is. He cannot be overlooked. He cannot be overlooked. He cannot. There where we miss it all the time. There is no competition in the Godhead. There is no, but you can say God, God is powerful than Jesus. Jesus is powerful than the Holy Spirit. No, they are one, one God, one God, one God, one power, one everything, one God, one God. There is no least in the Godhead. No, you miss it. You miss it. Hallelujah. He gives life. God gave life. The Holy Spirit gives life. Jesus gives life. He gives life. He is the author of prophecy. All these things we do, people prophesy, is the Holy Spirit. He is the author of prophecy. He is everything. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. He is everything. The author of prophecy. He gives life. He gives life. He is as powerful as God and as Jesus. Hallelujah. I call him Jesus Christ Unlimited. Hallelujah. Jesus Unlimited. You can be anywhere. Hallelujah. Child of God and call upon the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is there. He's searching for that relationship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I'm going to read to you John chapter 14, starting from verse 15 to 17. Jesus Christ, this is Jesus about to leave to go to the cross. Jesus Christ said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. I, I want to talk about this another helper. This is Jesus about to go to the Father. This will tell you in the go here, everyone has a role. God is the creator. Jesus Christ is our redeemer. And the Holy Spirit, he is here to point people to Jesus. He will help to point people to Jesus. You see, Jesus Christ say, you know, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. So that's, the, you see, that's the role of Jesus. Now he's about to go face the cross. He's about to die for us, for our sins. Jesus is about to go and die. Just imagine. He's about to go to die for us. To go to the Father. 
He came to do the will of God. Now the will of God is almost coming to an end. And you know what, son, I will is the blood of Jesus. He had to go to the cross for his blood to sign a will. For the will to be active, Jesus Christ had to die. You see, just like in our, our, you know, on this earth, for someone's will to be active, that person had to die. So Jesus Christ had to die. And he said, he's, 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 he said here, he said, I will give you another helper. Another helper, another helper like Jesus. You can tell the difference. When you're worshiping the Holy Spirit, you're worshiping Jesus. You cannot tell the difference in character. You cannot tell the difference in personality. Jesus Christ said, I will give you another helper. Another helper. Another helper. Another helper to be with you forever. Another helper. The Holy Spirit, he is our helper. He will be with us you know, helping us. He is our standby. He is our comforter. He is there to advocate for us. When we are in the heat of the battle, the Holy Spirit is there with us. He is there with us. In the heat of the battle, he's there. What that, that sickness that you are going through, don't think you're there alone. The Holy Spirit is there with you. Call on him. Use the word of God. Speak to him and tell him the word of God said, by his strap I am healed. And because Jesus Christ went to the cross, because he died for me, I am healed. And hold on to that healing. Hold on to it. Hallelujah. He is here, the Holy Spirit. And verse 17 says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, you know him and he dwells with you and will be in you. That's his dwelling place is in us. The moment you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit come and dwell in you. Because it's the Holy Spirit who is pointing you to Jesus. It's the Holy Spirit who will convict you about Jesus. You see, for me to receive Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, it was the Holy Spirit. It was the Holy Spirit that, that, that pointed me to Jesus. It was the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus that someone out there, Lord, that the Holy Spirit will convict somebody and point them to Jesus. Because Jesus is the way. He is the way. He is the way. And I pray that you will experience the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray that you will get to know him. And before I close, I want to pray. I want to pray with someone out there who wants to get that relationship with the Holy Spirit. I want to pray with you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, I pray for your people out there. I pray for someone who watching this video someone who wants to get that relationship with you, someone who wants to get that infilling of the Holy Spirit, I pray, oh Lord, that you will touch them in the name of Jesus, that you will change whatever they are going through, Father, in the name of Jesus. I also pray, oh Lord, that there's someone who will watch this video that will be sick and crying for your healing. I pray, Holy Spirit, touch them in the name of Jesus. Heal them, spirit, soul, and body. Heal them, O oh Lord, and touch them, Father, in the name of Jesus. And I pray, O oh Lord, that you will point people, Heavenly Father, that you will point people to, to Jesus. I pray that whoever is watching this video, maybe you have backsliding several years ago, and I pray for the Holy Spirit to touch you right now and convict you and bring you back to where you belong in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your people. And thank you for everything, Father. Thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.